Hello, Colin here, House Tricks. I was talking to Simon, my cameraman, telling him about Sydney, Australia, and uh, the Sydney Zoo, where I saw the very last wombat's dingbat. He said, well, what's a wombat's dingbat? Well, it, this is a wombat's dingbat. Um, the park keeper, wombats are very nice, uh, little marsupial creatures, and the park keeper had an idea. He'd give the wombat a dingbat, and the wombat would hop around, and people would uh, put money onto the bat, and uh, he'd give it to the keeper. The keeper would put it into his pocket. That would be called Park His Perks. And the wombat would hop around and hop around. He'd be doing this all day. The wombat would collect money for the park keeper. But the parky had an idea. He thought, uh, well, look, what I'll do is uh, I've got more than one, one wombat, so I'll use two dingbats. So I could send out two wombats with the dingbats. One would hop over and get a coin from there, and uh, one would hop over and uh, get a coin from there. And he'd double his bubble. And uh, that's what the park keeper did. Uh, but the wombats didn't like this. They got a bit nut. They said, well, there's nothing in it for us. So they got crafty. One wombat with his dingbat would collect the money. And then when the parky wasn't looking, he'd pass it to his mate who'd hide it in a bush. And uh, that way the wombat got a little cut, cut of the money. They collect some money, pass it over, and uh, hide it. Uh, but the older park keeper got crafty, so he took one of the wombat's dingbats away and just left one wombat with one dingbat. And the wombat had to go jumpy jumpy, collecting the money. He got fed up with this. He thought, no, I'm going to go on strike. So he took the money and he dropped it at the park keeper's feet. And the park keeper, when he bent to pick it up, the wombat hit him with the dingbat and the dingbat broke. And that is why you don't see a wombat with dingbats anymore. Educational as well as inspirational. Now if you see my little um, uh, leprechaun's ping pong bat, it's a similar sort of routine. But um, with the old coin paddle, the wombat's dingbat is actually my favourite. And, uh, and it's also the favourite of a lot of people. Remember, it's nice to fool people most of the time, but it's even better to entertain them all of the time. So don't uh, dismiss these little tricks that make a little bit of difference. And uh, maybe your wombat will get a dingbat. Till next time, from Colin and Simon, TTFN.